All right, what's up, everybody? My name is Delta Wolf 5F6, and today for this episode of my Fallout in Vegas playthrough, we're back in the Mojave Outpost Barracks. We got rid of Arcade because we won't be needing Hello. him anymore, or at least for the time being. And we're back to help out Cass. Not really help out Cass, but a few parts ago, actually, I don't really remember when exactly it was, but a few parts ago, Cass wanted to, you know, pay her respects to her caravan. So that is what we're going to well, do. Well, now, look what rolled in. What, you getting lonely out there? Oh, absolutely. Looking to join up with me again? Was reminded why I left this place soon as I walked in. Let's go. So we're just about at her caravan's wreckage. And here we go, Cass. Oh. God, there's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was, was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn, looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed Ash meant burned. So close to the Vegas Wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. Why would they have done it during the day? No idea. Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them, walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. Least I can do for hoofing it all this way with me. All right, cool. Thank you. I guess I'll take your detergent and your drugs and your drained energy cells and uh, lock box. You know what? What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. Interesting. One of our caravans got hit a few months back, and the caravan been burned too along with the cargo. I wonder if he made the same mistake and that other caravan got hit with energy weapons too. All right, wanna go check it out? Yeah, it's a ways though. Hell of a detour. You sure? Yup, let's go. All right then, let's move out. All right, anyway, like I was saying before uh, Cass interrupted me, I didn't even check the wagon yet. And then she, start, well, whatever. All right, locked box here. This isn't normally here, I don't think. Nice, okay, got it first try. Wait a minute. This is the, uh... What is it? The Courier's Stash, um, caravan items. Okay, that's is actually a, not a bad spot for it. Hmm, interesting. I like that. I like that. So, so far I found the, the mercenaries... The mercenary pack, and I guess I just found the caravan pack. So that leaves the tribal pack and the vault pack. Oh yeah, anyway. So something I was going to mention a few episodes, or a few parts ago. This little warehouse here. You might, you might not recognize it from the outside, but we were inside of it a few parts ago. And uh, that caravan was, uh, you know, attacked. So let's go ahead and head on inside, and uh, I'll explain. Pretty sure you can go inside at least. Yes, you can. All right, cool. Yes, yeah, so inside, uh, if you recognize this, this is where the Van Graffs, or where Gloria Van Graff brought us to um, help her with the, with the Legion was trying to buy some energy weapons, and then the NCR came in here and then, you know, killed them back here. For some reason, I thought that, like, you couldn't come back in here, but I, I guess you can. I already looted all the stuff in those fridges. Well, yeah. So, if this doesn't kind of... help oh, the game crash. But anyway, like I was saying, if this doesn't kind of, like, foreshadow who's responsible for her caravan, well, we'll see in, in a little bit. Ooh, that's our first Chinese assault rifle of the game, I believe, from the Fallout 3 weapons restoration. Look at that thing. Surprised I never found one earlier. But yeah, um, I was heading over to the uh, other caravan that uh, Cass wants to check out. And um, yeah, we got attacked by fiends. Now we got a Chinese assault rifle. That's pretty cool. Okay, so here's the caravan that we're coming for and it, oh, never mind. Uh, I thought that this caravan was um, attacking those uh, Cazadors over there. This will be our first time actually running into Cazadors. So hopefully we don't uh, draw too much attention from them. I'm gonna loot these fiends they kill, or Viper gunslingers they killed for me. Ignore the Cazadors, and, uh, here's the... More energy weapons hit this caravan. Yeah. Place has been picked clean. This is Brotherhood-level murder here. 
But they don't do things like that. This was done with a purpose. Let's poke around a bit, see what we can find. Might be something in the wreckage. This is the one caravan I don't remember the name of. I know there's uh, the Cassidy one, then I know that there's the Griffin Wares. That's what it is. And then there's the Durable Duns, which is the one we're going to go to next. Plasma rifle, some drained energy cells. What's that? Looks like a map. Got the route along the west of Vegas, and they've marked another spot. Over here along this stretch. That's fucked up. Middle of nowhere. All right, let's go check it out. All right, then. Yeah, there we go. Let's Durable duns. I knew that. All right, I'm just going to loot this uh, whatever is left here, which... Never mind. I guess, I guess that was it. All right, let's go and check out the Durable duns caravan. So as we were pretty much right next to where it's at, um, I'm just going to go to the followers safe house real quick. I'm pretty sure they have some skill books in here, but there should be some other good stuff in here that we can see. Here we are, followers safe house. Oh, some magazines, some right away, plasma mines, grenades, rad X, a tri-beam laser rifle. I will take that. Plasma rifle, some stim packs, some pulse stuff, some more magazines, all-purpose science suit, advanced radiation suit, and reinforced combat armor. We'll leave that there for them. I think I already have a hunting shotgun, so I'll just take this to improve my own. For some reason, I thought there was a skill book here. I guess it's just a bunch of uh, skill magazines. Oh, wait, nope, I was right. Look at that. There we go. Good thing I wanted to check. We got a, another science, or, yeah. Wait, medicine. Medicine. Yes, I know. I know what the skill books are. There we go. That brings our medicine up to 69. Nice. Here we are. Well, we're almost here, but there's a Brahmin right here. Not sure if that Brahmin's involved in this caravan or not, but, yeah. This is probably my favorite random, or of the three caravans to come to, because you got... These guys here. Oh, not these guys. Another caravan burned. Yeah. Except someone made camp here. And I never heard about this attack. Let's look around. Something stinks. Yeah, like I was saying, not not this guy here. But this guy here, Van Graaff Thug, which that now officially gives away. Like I was alluding to earlier, what the reason, you know, we were by that Van Graaff's warehouse, and uh, there's Van Graaff thugs here because they're that does behind it. it. That's all I need to know. Crimson Caravan and the Van Graaffs. They were behind burning these caravans, and they've got to answer for them. I'm going to get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and then show them how Cassidy's settle accounts. Now, so normally, if I was to use Cass as, like, my everyday companion, I would definitely go and, uh, yeah, I'm for that. Let's go kill him. But we're not going for, because I don't really use Cass, like, ever, unless I'm doing her quest. So we'll do the, um, the peaceful solution, because obviously I still want to be able to buy from the Van Graffs. Uh, I don't remember if you take the evidence from them, if that makes the Van Graffs hostile or not. If it does, that would kind of suck, then I guess I might as well have just killed them to begin with. But I do like the Crimson Caravan, so I would like to be able to, you know go buy from uh, Blake in there, especially because I might need to buy his uh, some books off of him later in the game. NCR? Are you out of your fucking mind? That'd take years. And with the war with the Legion, no way they're going to waste time running up the Crimson Caravan or the Van Graffs. The harm to the Van Graffs would last longer and travel back west. All right. If you poke around the Van Graffs and Alice, fine. But if I see either one go into their camp, I'm going to start shooting, no matter what you find. All right, let's All right, go then. ahead and move on. All right, so I'm just going to finish looting up this place. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, if you, like, you can, like, come here, like, kind of early. You could probably come here, like, relatively early in the game. Where's Good Springs? Right over here. Yeah, Good Springs. So if you just, like, you know, take the normal down and around or if you got the stealth boy from the uh the schoolhouse over there somewhere and then you just like snuck through black mountain and got up here you could relatively easily my game really likes to crash in this area right here like a lot probably because it's kind of the center of the map and because there's like a lot of open area so maybe that's why my game always crashes here and then you could just go up here and then you can get some 
Vangraft combat armor, some plasma rifles, and other... Oops, I didn't mean to take that knife, but yeah, other good stuff. So we're at the Crimson Caravan Company, and it is nighttime, which is the perfect time to go into the main office. Never mind, she's still in here. My sneak is not high enough to, uh, to do this, so I'm just gonna... Oh, maybe it is. Alright, so I'm hidden. I broke, like, four bobby pins getting into this safe. <laughs> I didn't mean to take all, but oh well. We got the, uh, Van Graff, whatever the heck it's called. Alright, inside the Van Graffs for the Silver Rush. We'll have Eddie wait there. Unequip that. And then I should have Stealth Boy somewhere. There we go, we got two of them. Alright, we'll do this as quick as we can. How would they detect me while I have a stealth boy? You shouldn't be detecting me while I have a stealth boy. There we go. There we go, got that. Get the laser pistol. The cool thing is, you don't actually suffer any karma loss for stealing anything from the Van Graffs, which is nice. We are. We'll just take all. Ooh, there's some laser rifle focus optics in there, wasn't there? That's a laser rifle mod. All right. Well, anyway, since I still got my uh, stealth boy on, we're basically just gonna, you know, take all this stuff. Don't mind all of your stuff disappearing from in front of you, Gloria. It is uh, nothing to worry about. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just here, you know, on official. Van Graaff business and, and all that, you know. Hello, Gloria. I just happen to have a ton of uh, energy weapons for sale. You interested in buying any of them? Okay, so part of the reason why I don't want to kill the Van Graaffs is because eventually... Not the Cleansing Flame, but there's some unique uh, weapons that you can buy from them. Mainly, these two down here. Spurtlewood 9700 unique gatling laser that shoots green lasers instead of red ones and the smitty special they're both very good and very powerful um yeah so i might buy those but in the meantime i suppose i'll take ooh grenade rifle long barrel i'll take that for my uh mercenaries grenade rifle nothing else i really want oh that reminds me i'm just gonna sell you your uh laser rifle focus optics wait a minute i would sell it back to you wait what Oh, maybe because I stole it from you. You normally can't sell. This game is pretty good about um, not letting you sell stuff back to people when you stole it from them. Usually pretty good about that. Sometimes it doesn't seem to uh, do anything. I'm just going to keep buying all the ammo until... Uh... Yeah, that, this is pretty much how I make my money. Uh, I mean, not stealing from them and selling everything back. I'll take the laser pistols back, I guess. And I guess the, uh, these are, oh, there we go. I owe you a little bit of money, so I will now sell you. There we go. I think I'm losing out on about three or four caps, but that's all right. I got all of her ammo and also take those from you. Yeah, that sounds good to me. But yeah, um, eventually I don't want to aggro the, the Van Grass because I would like to buy the Spurtlewood or the Smitty Special. In the future not right now but in the future because right now i'm saving these caps for something much more important which we will be getting to probably next episode actually as long as i can get a level up this episode then we'll we'll be doing that next episode i believe i left Cass at the gun runner so i'm just going to go back and uh get hurry up there she is at the gun runners hello there Cass. You find any evidence yet i'm not gonna wait forever here's both pieces of evidence no shit. There it is. The blood, the motive, as clear as day. They must have penned these with snake venom. But we got it. Now what? Sure, this damns them, but only if someone listens. Anyone you trust in the NCR? Well, Jackson and the Mojave Outpost could get it to the folks in the West. I wouldn't trust anyone closer to the Colorado. And the Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs have their heart back west. Not sure it'll do any good, though. All right, well, we have to try. All right, let's do it. Listen to what he has to say. Sounds good to me. Now, normally, if I was to use Cass as a companion... I don't remember if I said this earlier or not already. But 
if I was to want, if I was using Cass, I would obviously kill Alice and uh, the Van Graffs because that makes her do a lot more damage with her guns, which makes her better. But doing it the peaceful way, she just gets 50 HP more. I don't remember which one gives her like the better ending in the ending slideshow. And why'd you go all the way over there, Eddie? I don't know. I don't remember which one gives her the better ending in her ending slideshow, but yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see once I once I finish the game. Hello there, Ranger Jackson. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. That's all right. I have evidence of a caravan conspiracy. What is it? Let me see. All right. This is... This explains a lot of the lost caravans. I thought it was Legion work, but... Can you get it to the right people? I can, if you make me a promise. I need you to swear you won't take revenge on Gloria or Alice. If you do, then your case is over, and we can't see that justice is done. I know some things are hard to let go, but you and Miss Cassidy need to understand that. Hear me? Yep, you have our word. Well, you have my word. I'm not so sure about Cass. I'm basically never going to recruit her as a companion ever again. Uh, except actually maybe later in the game, because I'm going to send eventually all the companions will be chilling with me in the Lucky 38 presidential suite. You know, all of them will be living, living life up there. But, uh, yeah, I'll just say you have our word. That'll have to do. God, what a mess. People turning against each other when the Mojave's at risk of falling. If the Republic's sinkhole progress doesn't kill us, greed will. Thanks for bringing me this. I know revenge must have been tempting. For what it's worth, I appreciate you didn't shed any more blood. We need to save our strength for the Legion. You're welcome. I'll do what I can. And those folks that got killed need to be answered for. Yeah, I agree. Well, that's settled, I suppose. Are you all right? Feels... I don't know. I guess I feel relieved. I don't know what I feel. Wait, that's not true. I think the NCR back west, when riled, is going to be the worst enemy the Van Graffs and the Crimson Caravan ever had. They're all so mired in procedure and paper out there. The kind of evidence we gave is going to be worse than shooting them. I think that settles accounts with me and my men. That was some tricky political maneuvering, but worth it, even if it takes a few years. Ass has gained the Calm Heart perk, giving her a permanent health bonus. That is quest completed. Not heard enough. Let's move on. All right then. Ah, uh, not quite level 18. Well, I, I I hate to do this to you, Cass. Something to say to me, other than guns, distance, and stimming? <laughs> no, it's uh, it's time for us to part ways again, what? Cass. No music? Yup. No. Yup, I'm sure. Fine, then. <laughs> Alright, and then she just True. teleports back to the barracks. Yeah, as I was saying, that's pretty much all we we're going to do for this episode. Not quite enough to push us to level 18, which is a little disappointing, but oh well. I might just go kill some things real quick to push us into level... 18 because we are very close we're about 102 xp off is 2 xp we'll get that up to 7 yeah 102 xp away from getting the level 18 which i did want to level up before the next episode but yeah so with Cass, Cass's story dealt with that's one more companion done we're done with eddie boone oh wait not boone we're done with eddie Arcade for now and Cass. Actually, no, we're not even done with Arcade. We're just done with Eddie and Cass, actually. That's two out of seven companions. We still got another five companions. I believe it's five. Five or six companions left to go. But before we end off the episode, I'm actually going to go back to the Van Graffs because I'm interested if they actually turn hostile or not immediately. Because I literally just turned the evidence in. So are they going to turn hostile immediately? Or... I don't know, because that would kind of suck, because then I won't be able to get the Spurtle Wood or the uh, the Smitty Special. Because unlike Fallout 3, merchants don't have their uh, store inventory on them when you kill them. And they don't have, like, um, a little safe or something with their um, with their shop inventory in it. So you can't, like, you know, kill them and get all the stuff for free, unlike you could in Fallout 3. I guess we'll go and see. Well, that answers uh, that, answers that question. want to have to do this silver rush crier but that tells me all i need to know 
tells me that uh, the Van Graffs do, in fact, go hostile immediately after you uh, do it this way, which kind of sucks because I liked Simon. Yeah, now we, yeah, we can never go to the Silver Rush ever again. And me wearing the Van Graff combat armor uh, doesn't help. After all the work I've done for them, it, I guess it just doesn't matter. Um, I know what I said, Ranger Jackson, but, uh, they're, they're kind of, uh, they're kind of hostile toward me. Also, I guess I can't go to the Atomic Wrangler either, unless I, like, am able to sneak in there. So, maybe that's, whatever the quest was called, I don't remember what it was called. Where the one where you get Fisto and, like, the, uh, the, the cowboy ghoul from the Old Mormon 4. I guess we can't do that. And that sucks, because that means I can't get the Spurtlewood or the, uh, the Smitty Special. Which, which sucks, because I wanted I wanted one or both of those, but... Oh, well, I suppose that there are other great weapons in the game. Where am I going that way? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go basically just kill some stuff. Not the Van Graffs, because I promised Ranger Jackson I wouldn't uh, wouldn't do that. Um, we had to kill this guy, because obviously I'm going to need to go to the King School later, and I can't just avoid this guy forever. I also had Eddie wait right here for some reason. Go. All right. But yeah, sadly, we had to kill this guy because he there was no way there was no way around it. We're going to need to come back here to the Kings later. We're also going to need to enter the Strip through that gate in the future eventually as well. We're just going to need to avoid going going down to, uh, down Fremont Street. Yeah, let's go get some XP now. Oh, okay. I was hoping these Cazadors wouldn't be here anymore, but I guess that they still are. I was going to go over there to that, like, um, I guess it's not going to load in, but there's like a camp, oh, kind of, it's kind of loading in right there. There's like a little campground with a bunch of, uh, mantises, but I haven't gone any further north than, uh, Chance's Grave back in, uh, episode one. So I guess Eddie's just going to try to destroy all these, uh, Cazadors as I can throw a grenade at them or multiple grenades at them. Oh, they got to me. They got to me. Somehow they actually ended up getting over to me. I'm gonna try to run up this hill. You know, up this hill. Come on, let me up here. Yeah, I didn't think they could actually get over to me. All right, good job, Eddie. We need to we need to take them out. Uh, here, nine millimeter SMG. That'll work. Okay. All right, maybe these Cazadors aren't as scary as uh, they once were. I want. Okay, I'm still poisoned. I need to... Okay, maybe they still are. Never mind. Okay, we got some good healing going up now. Um... Alright, everything on your wings. Because if I can cripple their wings, they're they're screwed. Never mind, I just killed it. Alright, cool. And there's a young Kazuma stuck on a rock. Do I have any dynamite? Yes, I do. I have one. Here, have a dynamite. Oh, wow. You move right when I, uh, right when I throw that. Where'd you go? Oh, you're right there. Hello. How you doing? How you doing there, uh, young Cazador? Looks like you're, uh, you're dead. All right. Very nice. There's no way that wasn't enough XP to, uh, push me onto the next level. There we go. Look at that. All right. So, I know I'm going to need to get my medicine up to 75. I'll get my guns up to 75 as well, and then I'll put everything else into repair. Perfect. That is, I think, as good as we can get without um, leveling up anymore. So, oh, and level 18 perks. So, it's level 18, even numbered level. So, we do get some new weapon perks. That could be useful. Hammer resistant could be useful, but I don't really use uh, drugs all that much. Purifier would also be pretty useful. Not right now, but in the future, that could be useful. Mainly, uh, when I get to Lonesome Road, that could, uh, could be useful. Well, I don't really have anything I necessarily want right now, so I'm just gonna take, uh, Living Anatomy. So I can do 5% bonus damage to humans and non-feral ghouls, but it also shows me the health and damage threshold or damage resistance of any enemy during, uh, like, combat and stuff. I'm not sure what these yellow tick marks are, but real quick, I'm just gonna loot up, uh, this tribal village, because I was going to go down there, but I guess I don't have to anymore. Oh, they're crows. That's what they are. The ravens. My bad. 
So I was trying to clear out the the rest of the um, the Cazadors because I guess I have the ability to. And there's um, a random like raider named uh, No Socks. Oh yeah, and look, here's what the uh, living anatomy does. There's the HP and the damage threshold. And then as you kill them, you can like see their health drain, which I don't know. I just like being able to see that. No Socks. Ooh, wait a minute. This is the um, the tribal. This is the NPC for the tribal pack. Um, the tribal pack uh, courier stash thing. Okay, cool. So we found two of those this episode. Nice. I guess I'm gonna finish uh, clearing out the Cazadors and uh, whatnot. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. So that means we're just missing the uh, the vault one, or like the vault, th the one that gives you the vault 13 canteen. A little disappointing because I haven't been taking a sip from it all 16 episodes so far because this is episode 16 yeah get out of here you lame cazadors you guys suck leave me alone leave me alone actually i changed my mind you, you you don't suck you're actually pretty cool very terrifying great enemy design never mind you, you do suck all you cazadors all right we got a few more over there we're heading on to the great con territory which is nice because we'll have some fast travel locations for uh for later i think that compass tick right there might actually be the um what's it called the um they're like right on the other side of this just kicking the, the body around yeah it is okay that's the place where you get the uh love and hate the unique uh spiked knuckles that's uh what that town is we're not gonna we're not gonna go there I don't really want to pick a fight with them, but I will, I guess, go and uh, cover this location so I can get a a location that's over here, and then uh, we'll call it a part there. Oh, that is a death claw. That is a uh, a, a a death claw. I think that's um, the Vault 19 where the Powder Gangers are. At. All right. Um. I I guess not. I guess we won't be uh, we won't be doing that. I guess we do don't need to come here for a little bit. So I guess we'll. We can use our ammo on them uh, a bit later. But yeah, I suppose this is where I'll do my outro at. Um, as I have now cleared out this dangerous... There's a Good Spring Cemetery up there. I cleared out this dangerous road with all the Cazador. So now you can uh, go. Now there's uh, even more dangerous death claws. I'm pretty sure that is that vault. Vault 19. Maybe we'll do that next episode. No, no, we're not. We're not doing that next episode. We're not going to do Vault 19 next episode. Or will we? I actually don't even really go to Vault 19 all that often. I normally don't go there. I also normally don't go there either. But I always have to go to Red Rock Canyon, which you can see uh, over there. There's Red Rock Canyon. The textures aren't quite loading in. Uh, 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 I'm, not, I'm not seeing anybody there except for uh, it's a fire barrel. But yeah. Anyway, next week, episode 17, because this is episode 16. Also, this is the second episode that was edited, recorded, and edited on my new uh, video editing streaming PC. And the last episode actually did seem to turn out really good. Pristine. So, yes, I am very happy about that. This episode, second episode recorded and edited on there. But next uh, next week's episode, for episode 17, we're either going to be going to Vault 19, which is, let's see, right here. It's, like, roughly right here. That, I believe, right here, because this is, like, the fenced-in area. And then there's uh, the death claws that can open up. Yeah, that, that's exactly where it's at. I knew it. I, don't know, I might just snipe this death claw. Oh, yeah, it's a young death claw. Who cares? You can snipe this guy off. You're never going to come over here anyway. Well, anyway, as I'm killing this young death claw, we might actually be going to Vault 19. Take care of the Vault 19 Powder Gangers next, ga next, uh, next episode. Probably not, actually. But, oh, I guess he, he knows exactly where I am faster eddie eddie anytime you want to start helping there we go all right i guess i didn't really need eddie's help cool well anyway we just killed a young death claw but yeah next week might be vault 19 or it might be dlc time and i like to play the dlcs in order so we'll be starting with uh with dead money Obviously, because that's the uh, DLC 1. And then we'll move to Honest Hearts and Old World Blues and Lonesome Road. And Can I not climb up this mountain? I, I guess not. 
But yeah, anyway, next week, either Vault 19 or Dead Money. So I hope you'll you'll join me for that. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like, which, like I've been saying recently, you enjoyed the video to some extent. Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't still be watching. Oh, look at that. Now we got somebody right there. I guess I might as well just kill him. There we go. Kill him. But yeah, you, you like this video to some extent. Otherwise, you wouldn't still be watching. So a like and a subscription would be much appreciated. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, afternoon, evening, uh, nighttime, whatever time it is for you. And I will catch you guys later. Delta Wolf, out.